Hey, I wanted to give you a visual of something that I put in the written notes uh, related to leash manners and dealing with Bellamy when she sees another dog because I know it's hard when you don't have a visual. What I was saying was that we want to use the here cue, meaning you bring her into a short lead, she's closer to you, you have more control, and her brain gets into more of a pack mentality instead of a prey, ment prey drive mentality. So I wanna show you what that looks like. Sitting behind me is Zuma, a young um, German Shepherd who, she's dog friendly, but she's prone to overexcitement and she'll act inappropriately. I haven't really worked with her yet, but I know I can count on her. So I wanna show you what I mean when I'm talking about this. So the first thing is when I let a dog out in front of me as I'm letting Bellamy now, when she's in front of me, that puts her in charge for better or worse, and is gonna make her more excited. The other thing is that when she's in front of me, I end up pulling instead of steering or using spatial pressure. When I pull a dog, that triggers more pull and accelerates excitement. So we don't want her in front when she's about to approach a trigger, another dog or anything else. What we want is to bring her in close with the here cue. I say here, and I bring her on a short leash. Notice it's not tight. And then I start to approach the dog. Now, I'm guessing that Zuma will probably jump at her. So I'm just gonna go ahead and nip it in the bud right now. I'm gonna make sure that I'm in between them. So she's short, she's in the here, short lead. I start walking and I say, here, here, this girl. Notice I keep moving. Now, if she's on this side of me, you see her checking in with me, very good. But if Zuma lunges, let's see what happens. Well, that's good. That's good. Nonetheless, I would recommend that when a dog's over here, you have her on the opposite side of you. And you notice I kept her short leash and I just say, here, here, here. Good. Now, if I stand here too long and they start to engage, I'm gonna move her back because distance is my friend. So if standing too close, I'll put myself in between again. Here. So I'm just giving her that cue here to remind her that she's with me. Here we go, here. Good girl. You see her look up? Here. Good girl. So if she starts to get really jacked up, I also mentioned doing a reset circle. So that's very simple. That's really just, let's say that she starts getting overly excited about Zuma. I would just do this. Take her in a circle and reset her. But she's doing really well now. Now this does not mean, this is the first time she's met Zuma. This does not mean that she's gonna act just like you saw her act every time you see a dog. Remember that she and I have been working on this and that I am, um, my timing for my cues is really solid. So this is as much about the human getting their game together on leash as it is for her. But if we make sure that she's not left out in front and she's given the here cue and we keep moving and if we have to stop for some reason, if we're talking to the human who has the other dog, then I just create a, uh, a, a distance, a cushion, okay? All right, over now.